Today I'm going to be showing you some features on Axiom version 17's dashboard editor and building tool set. Uh, I started off by selecting a new application. I uh, chose a generic screen size. I'm going to make that uh, 1000 pixels high and 1500 pixels wide. And I'm in the browser session right now. Uh, and as you can see, I have a screen that's come on uh, to my uh, desktop that shows me my new screen size that I've just built, as well as gives me a list of controls here on the left that I can begin uh, building with. Um, I also have the ability here in the editor tool on the left to add additional screens. Once I've placed an item, uh, one of these controls, onto my dashboard, and sized it the way that I'd like it to be sized. I then have the option to select that control and look at the properties. As you can see, I can manually set the XY coordinates as well as uh, adjust things like width and height manually. I can link this chart to a pre-saved chart by selecting it inside of my directories. And as I'm in the editor, my updates uh, take place live. All right, let's add some linear gauges as well. So you can see in my list of controls, we've got, we have a long list of features that can be added. And I'm gonna put a few linear gauges on, but first I wanna nest them into a panel. So we'll bring our panel in. Maybe we'll make this our linear gauge area. And so we'll start to place linear gauges in here. Now they, it comes in uh, by default in a vertical format, but I'm gonna drag and drop it. You can see it changes to a horizontal format automatically. And uh, maybe make that just a little longer. All right, beside this linear gauge, I plan on placing both a label and a value box. So let's grab the label. And let's grab the value box. Okay. Make the value box wider. Perfect. Now, the label has a set of properties. And I can choose to make the text size normal. I can make it large, which will make it large. I can align uh, left, center, or right. We'll keep it left. On the value box, uh, we're going to align that to the left. It's currently formatted for two decimal places. Uh, maybe I know that this is going to be a temperature, so we'll do uh, Fahrenheit. And on our linear gauge, we want to, let me minimize this. On our linear gauge, we want to set that scale to have uh, ticks every 20 degrees. And that scale is going to run, uh, we'll leave it from zero to 100, but we'll place a low limit at 32 degrees and a high limit at 90 degrees. And we'll do the same thing on our value box, low limit, 32 degrees, high limit at 90 degrees. And we'll call this temp one. And I think finally we'll adjust this up so it's centered a little better. Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and associate this tag And I'm going to be in a wind farm here, looking uh, particularly at this turbine and set of turbines. And we'll search for ambient temps. And we'll make that number one. Okay. So the value comes in, you can see, just like that. And we'll do the same thing here on this gauge for this, uh, sorry, for this value box. Ambient temps, and number one. Perfect. I think I'll 
I'll adjust this up a bit and I'll bring this up just a bit. All right, now I'm going to copy all three of these just by simply holding the control button. I can multi-select and just a quick copy and paste. And now I can move my new selections down, do it again. We'll see if we can't put all five of them in here. There we go. All I have to do is come in, make my edits on my labels. And then reassociate. each of my controls with the tag that I'd like them to be associated with. So what's nice about uh, the way that the tool's designed is that I can very quickly lay out a dashboard um, without having to sit here and rebuild the entire thing over and over again, um, especially being able to multiple select uh, many different controls and do a copy feature. Uh, it's also nice because I've nested all of these on a panel. I'll show you here in a second. If I want to move all of these around, I can do that very quickly um, and almost intuitively. It's a bit of a just a drag and drop. Okay, so there we go. I've got those all named and associated now. And as you can see, I've got different values coming through on each of these. So as I was mentioning, because these are all on a panel, I can now move all of them very quickly around just by moving the panel, which is a nice feature. All right, and we've got some space to put some other controls here. So let's see what we have. Um, let's put in, uh, we'll show you two of the other gauges. I'll show you a circular gauge. And we'll bring that here. Let's take a look at the properties on that. Uh, we'll just make it an even 200 on width and height. And let's go ahead and also add a donut gauge in as well. Same thing, we're going to make that donut gauge a width of 200 and a height of 200. All right. And uh, we'll just very quickly associate a tag with our circular gauge. And we'll come back up and uh, we'll do, well, let's do an engine RPM on the circular gauge. Now this engine RPM is going to have a much higher value than the current scale of 100. It's not a problem. I can quickly change my scale. Let's bring the scale up to 3500. And we'll change this major interval to 500. All right, and again, we'll set our high limit only this time. We'll set our high limit anything over 3,000. You can see how the scale has updated to show a limit of 3,000. Perfect. Donut gauge. Uh, we'll do something similar. On the donut gauge, let's place a, uh, we'll look at about the generator speed. Same thing, you can see it's maxed out its scale. And we'll set that at a 2500. And there we go. Now a few neat things that I can show you about these uh, gauges. Everything can be nested. So if I wanted to make this much larger, and perhaps I wanted to make this much smaller, We can nest one gauge on the other. We'll put it back to where it was. And we'll bring that back as well. OK, so uh, we'll put some labels on these. Um, we'll pick out label 
here. We'll actually set this label maybe inside the, this gauge. And we'll copy that label and do something similar down here underneath of it. All right. Looking at the property of the label, going to center the label. And that was a generator, so we'll just call it gen speed. Maybe we'll put it right there. And this label, same thing, we'll center that. And that was engine RPM. Perfect. Uh, last thing I think I'd like to do here would be uh, put a value box. Actually set it inside of this gauge. And we'll associate that with the generator speed. I do not need uh, any decimal points on that, so we'll make that a zero decimal point. And maybe we'll put that centered. Here we go. Okay. Um, let's put a few other things on here. Uh, how about we'll do a grid? And my grid is going to be very simple. It is going to be uh, only two columns. And each column is going to have a label. And it's going to have a value box. Actually, you know what? Let's change it. I'm going to slide all of these items down. I'm going to slide this item up. We're going to widen this, make it three, and then the last thing I'm going to place in here is a spark chart. Perfect. All right, so we have a label that is normal sized, and on the left, which is where we'd want it, we have a value box uh, that is right justified, which is fine, and we have a spark chart. All right, so let's select them all, and we'll begin to fill our grid. And now all I have to do is come in and change each of my labels. Associate a tag. Uh, we'll find the nacelle. And then I can also link my Spark chart to that value. The Spark chart's width can be changed. I can also come down here and change the duration of the Spark chart. Maybe I want to see four hour charts. And now I can go through my grid and make each of those adjustments. So just like that, in a little under 15 minutes, I've created my own individual dashboard. All I'd have to do is go through and map out the remaining uh, data points that I'd like to see. Um, this can be saved publicly or privately. And it's done just as simply as clicking the Save button. Now, while I'm using this dashboard, if at any point I want to make a change, all I do is click my edit button here in the top left hand corner and my uh, editing tools slide out from the left and I have the ability to come into any of these places any of these controls uh, and make any type of change I'd like. Very easy to use tool, very intuitive um, it's, uh, it's simple, it's clean it can be done in app or in browser and uh, what's beautiful is it doesn't require anyone to do it for you it's a tool that everyone can use at their own speed and uh, create their own dashboards. I hope you like this demo. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. You can email us at info at canarylabs.com.